<laughs> so you can put them in like a onesie and then put these on them. Hello! So, I washed a bunch of baby things. So, did I say this on here or not? I can't remember, but if I haven't, last May we had a yard sale and we sold pretty much all of the baby stuff. We had a couple things that we saved um, because some friends of ours were going to have a baby, so we're like, oh, maybe we'll save that and see if they want to take it. But we sold almost everything, including like all of the clothes. I had given a box of clothes away to a friend who had a baby girl and then we sold a bunch of stuff at the yard sale and then whatever was left we donated. Like after the yard sale it was it was one of those like clear outs where I was like if it doesn't get sold it's getting donated. <laughs> and then we found out we were pregnant in July. But one, the friend who I had given a bunch of clothes to had kept them and gave them back. She doesn't need them anymore. And also I had saved like a box of clothes that were kind of like more sentimental, like the, you know, the dress that both the girls were wore to their first day of preschool and things like that. Um, just anything that had like good memories and was in really good shape, something that I would potentially pass down to them for their children. But anyway, uh, I went through what we had and washed everything and we're actually in pretty good shape i have like a few newborn size things um and then a bunch of you know kind of zero to three month things both of my other baby girls were big um so they were not in newborn stuff for very long so if this one follows suit then they, she won't be in newborn stuff very long either, but also, you know, she could potentially be smaller or come early or something like that and be smaller. So I wanted to make sure we had a few newborn things. We could not get a single other piece of clothing and be totally fine. But one, I already bought a few things. <laughs> and uh, also we're having this sprinkle in a couple weeks. So we're definitely going to be set. We're all good, which is great. Anyway, this weekend I had pulled all those clothes down and gave them a wash. So now I need to fold them. I also, with both of the girls, had used um, this kind of hybrid cloth diaper system. They're called G diapers and I really like them. Like I said, they're like a hybrid cloth diaper. So you're reducing how much kind of diaper waste you're producing. Um without going full like bleach bucket in the laundry room, which I really like because I, you know, want to be conscious. I want to reduce where I can. Um, but I also am not a like full cloth diaper mom. That's just not, not my thing. But anyway, I'll show you those in a second because I'd found a few of them that were tucked away in a box in the attic that we had missed for the yard sale and then also had managed to get some uh, second hand off of Facebook Marketplace because they don't make them anymore. Like I think the company in like during COVID just like ran into a bunch of problems like manufacturing problems. They might be based in Australia. Anyway. Um, so they don't make them anymore, but I found a whole like community of people who do like, you know, swapping and stuff and got a bunch of the small size, uh, that look really, that are like in really good shape. So I'll show you those in a second as I fold them here too. But that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to fold a bunch of baby clothes and try not to get distracted by the walk down memory lane.
diapers. So these, the G diapers come in essentially three pieces. So this is the shell or the outer part. Has a little G on the back. And then this is the liner. Yeah, the liner. And it's like waterproof material. I'm sure you can't see it, but you can hear it, right? So this is like the waterproof liner. And that snaps in to the shell here. So you just like And then you put an insert in it. So that's like how the diaper is. And you put an insert in it. And these are the reusable cloth inserts. So these you put in, you can wash them. But I tend to use the disposable inserts. And like I said, the company doesn't really exist anymore. So they don't make their disposable inserts. Which is a shame because also they were super biodegradable like you could flush them down the toilet even but it's fine because there are other cloth diapering companies that make disposable inserts so I'll probably just get those um but just to show you so you, then you take the insert and you put it in the liner like that and then this is the thing that I really like about G diapers is the design of it. So it's Velcro. A lot of the other hybrid diapers have like snaps and stuff. So it's just like a Velcro. You put it on there. There's one side. And the other. And that is the little... The little diaper the G goes on the back so the velcros go in the back there so there's no like like as they get older they're not like ripping their diaper off but that's honestly one of the biggest things that I really like about the G diapers is the fact that like a lot of the other cloth diapering options they have snaps and they do a thing which is great where they're kind of like um, sizable so it's like the front of the cloth diaper will have like four snaps across here so that you can adjust the sizing which is a good idea but I have never had a sizing issue with these ones and I think it just like looks a little bit cleaner and also these are not super bulky and a lot of the other cloth diapers looked a little bulky to me but like you know that's like pretty pretty thin it's not bulky anyway the point is we're gonna try this whole system now to be clear for the first like couple of weeks like newborn newborn I do use disposable diapers um I also will typically have some disposable diapers on hand just in case either one uh, someone is watching the baby who doesn't isn't familiar with this system or isn't comfortable with this or to like we're out and about like I'll always throw a disposable diaper in the diaper bag just in case of emergencies I'll have one in the car etc etc so it's not that we're not using any disposable diapers or that I'm even like against using disposable diapers they're super convenient they work really well um, this is just one of those things where like I said if I can reduce our footprint in a way that's you know not super duper inconvenient then I'm happy to do that so that's kind of why we do the hybrid method um but yeah I'm cannot say enough how I'm all about do what works for you and your family and also if you get if I we get to a point where this is too much we'll switch to disposable diapers like I have no problems doing that um but it is nice to kind of have this as an option to start out with and see how much Whoa. we can reduce our footprint by. What are you barking at? Yeah, that. Is 
secret way to folding baby clothes that I am unaware of because this is my third kid and I still feel like I don't have a good handle on like a like Marie Kondo way to fold like onesies and sleepers and stuff. I don't know. It feels like there has to be a better way, but I just haven't figured it out yet. are something that we got um, with Ella. They're called they're called baby legs and they're literally little like baby leg warmers. <laughs> so you can put them in like a onesie and then put these on them to cover their legs. It's so silly and impractical but look how cute. Are you kidding me? And also, I just love that they're called baby legs. of starting to rearrange stuff to make space for baby. Carrying a giant chair down the stairs. Doing a great job. Um, so, this is the bedroom, which we need to, um, which we need to convert into a little nursery nook. And I think I showed you this before, but just to show you, this is the corner where like little nursery nook is gonna go so maybe we'll have this closet here um which has already started being set up in here yeah what we're doing right now so that was a rocking chair that we got there he is oh my god he's so strong <laughs> um that what he was just taking downstairs was a rocking chair that we got that i thought was gonna go in that corner like that was gonna be the nursery nook we're gonna have a little rocking chair and do a little bedside bassinet but I think what we're gonna do instead is get a mini crib and that's gonna go there um and we're not gonna do like a bedside bassinet like I think it'll be okay it's not like it's far our bedroom's not hugely expansive so <laughs> when the baby wakes up in the middle of the night we can just come right over here and get the baby um yeah but first we're going to paint and we're going to paint this one wall so i wanted to paint the whole room because i think i said before that we kind of moved into the house and i did work on all the other rooms the girls rooms the living room the dining room we did, redid the kitchen and we just never really got around to doing anything to our bedroom the walls are still the same color as when we moved in They've got scuff marks and like holes and nails and like all this other stuff. And we just never really did it. Um, so I was hoping to do that, but it's just, we're just running out of time, honestly. <laughs> we're running low on time. So what I'm gonna do, oh, I gotta sit down. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna paint that wall, the kind of like, how do I describe it? It's like a beigey, orange the color is called pumpkin cream 
I keep looking at it and it I like it but I keep like second guessing myself a little bit but I think it's going to be really cozy and nice and I think it will actually be really really nice as an accent wall so I think it'll feel really good to just have the one wall painted that color and then we're going to repaint the closet doors this green color the darker one right now they're like a blue even though they are looking kind of green in the camera right now but they are like a blue like a you know do you remember the crayon cornflower cornflower blue that's the color that they are anyway um I just want the room to be a little bit more kind of like leaning towards neutrals and greens um so that's what we're going for so this weekend we got the paint we got the paint supplies so today we're just moving stuff around so that I can get in there and start prepping and then tomorrow we're gonna hopefully paint um and fingers crossed it doesn't take super long I am worried about painting these closet doors like that's gonna be because I really don't want to have to oh gosh hello mm -hmm. excellent camera work here um I really don't want to like take the doors off like I'm gonna be a little bit lazy about it um so we'll see we'll see but I'll at least want to get the wall done um yeah so that's what we're doing So we got two coats of the pumpkin cream on there. Whoa, that's too close to my face. We got two coats of the pumpkin cream on there. Oh my gosh, girl, you look a wreck. Anyway, one more time. We got two coats of the pumpkin cream on there and then two coats of the green on the closet, on the outside of the closet. <laughs> Show you a better, better view. There we go. Um, I didn't paint the inside of the closet because lazy and because no one's going to look in there. No one will know. It's fine. It'll just be between me and you. Okay. Anyway, I like it. I think it looks good. It feels really like warm and cozy, which is what I was going for. Um, and it's pretty dry to the touch. So I think we're going to take some painter's tape off, which is, we love that, right? Oh. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Hello. It is several days later and I am back in the bedroom to paint these closets right here. So yeah, we painted the one wall, the accent wall that we were doing, and then I painted the one closet um, and had meant to paint the other one the next day, but I was in too much pain. <laughs> um, I'm really struggling to, especially in this third trimester, to be gentle with myself and give myself some grace and um, rest when I need to rest. And so I kind of push myself and then my entire body hurts and I can't move for a day. So I'm working on it. <laughs> I just feel like there's so much, I keep saying this, there's so much to get done. And while I do feel like I've done the work to be like, there is so much to get done and you're going to get as much of it done as you can. And some of it's not going to get done and that's okay. I do feel like I have that in my brain. I still want to get as much of it done as I can. All of this to say, it's several days later and I'm coming back to finish painting. And we're gonna paint these closets. And then the painting in this room is gonna be done. Eventually I wanna paint the rest of the walls, obviously, especially because now the kind of neutral color that's on the rest of the walls doesn't really vibe with this pumpkin green color that we have on the accent wall. But also I can't decide if I wanna just paint the rest of the room in this pumpkin cream color, or if I wanna leave it as an accent wall. Anyway, this is all an issue for future me. The point is, I'm gonna paint the closets and then we're gonna be done painting. And that means that then I can start doing a little bit of decorating as far as like the nursery nook goes. And I think I said my dresser over there is gonna be like a changing station. Um, so yeah, let's get going. I think we're gonna end the vlog there, but I did want to show you really quickly that I did in fact finish painting the closet doors. So all of the painting is done um, in the bedroom for now. Like I said before, I think eventually I want to paint the rest of these walls, you know, the rest of the walls in the bedroom a different color, but that is too big of a project for right now. And this is the nursery nook area. We'll have a crib there. That closet is baby, etc. <laughs> the closet is so baby. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are well on our way. So yeah, that's the end of this kind of part one of nesting vlogs. I'm sure there will be plenty more to come. So if you like this video, please subscribe, give it a like, all that good stuff, tell your friends. I don't know, what do people do? Um, anyway, I hope that you are having an amazing day and I will talk to you soon.